Hello, in this video, I'm going to explain how to use career early analysis program for building simulation or in short career HAB model. We'll see in this video that uh, I start with creating a new file and adding the weather for that particular location and for my equipment selection, as well as for uh, energy simulation analysis. Then we move into a project library where I can add walls, schedules, roof, windows, doors, more details into this. Then I add my space, I define it. I move into systems after that where I select basic equipment and some uh, control system. And after that, I'm ready to run my model. And, and we run it, we go over the results briefly, and that will show us how to develop a, a building simulation model for, a, for an existing building or a new building with uh, equipment we select for a particular location. Now I'm gonna go ahead and move into uh, opening this software. So on the start, you just search for app. You can hit open here and your app model should open up. Now if you install it correctly, I hit okay here. As I said, instead of opening a already uh, developed model, I'm going to create a new model for this uh, video. And I'm going to go to accept uh, the ventilation standard 62.1 and energy standard actually 90.1 uh, and hit OK here. And here you go. We are in our model. Go ahead, give it a name to, so you can save it. So let's call it um, building simulation. And save it. Let's move on into the first part, which was uh, adding weather data. So to do this, I double click on the weather one more time, double click on the weather. And I'm going to pick my location, uh, region USA. Let's select Tennessee. You have multiple options. I'm going to get select Nashville and basically default information will show up here. You can have, you have the option to change as you wish, as you want, but I, I prefer it as is. I also go to another tab. So I just review those. Everything looking good. Design solar. One more location that I would like to add my locate my weather would be a simulation. Uh, that I go here uh, and uh, I, uh, I have the option to import a weather file or select it from the library. So I go ahead, select it from the library. As you can see, I should scroll down to pick up the name of the country first, the order, uh, USA. I have to go down to see Tennessee or the state. And in Tennessee, just past it, uh, pick my same location, Nashville. And this is uh, TMY2 data, typical meteorological year two. And I hit open. And I hit OK here. So at this point, we are done with our weather data. Let's move on to a project library here. I can add a schedule, walls, roofs, and more details, as you can see here. Uh, on the schedule, let's double click the schedule, double click, create a new one. Uh, let's give it a name. I'm going to start with uh, a schedule named Occupant. And 
I go with the fractional type. And as you can see here, I can select out of these eight profiles for my IQ pen. So let's pick first one. And how it works here is that um, I can explain how weekdays, for example, uh, what's the behavior of IQ pen in this building on the weekdays. And I, over here, I have from zero all the way to 23. So my 24 hour weekdays plan could be listed. So let's assume from zero to 6 a.m. No one is in the building, it's the office building perhaps. And from 7 to let's say 8, from 7 to 8, there are 50% uh, of the people come. Then from 9 a.m. to uh, 6 p.m., let's say, to 6, uh, 6 p.m. plus 12 is 18. There are all people, so 100%. I accept that from 19 to 20, most of the people are gone, so 75%. And at the end, 21 to 23, there are still some people, not a lot, it's not the 10%. So this is how my weekdays look like. Um, and you can save it. Um, let me hit OK. I can go ahead here and verify my profile weekdays is still there. I can create one for weekend. And simply I can say uh, on weekends from zero to 23, there's only 5% instead of saying 0%. This is, you know, there are some people come and go over the weekends and so forth. So that will take care of my uh, weekends. I can continue keep adding holidays or if there are certain shifts that should be modified. So I, I have the option to go for another eight. Under assignments, um, here's uh, my month, January, February, March, April, all the way to December. And I can simply say on um, Monday through Friday, which is my weekdays, pick profile number one. So I had the one for all of them. And Saturday, Sunday, and holidays, I select all of those. And I simply pick my second profile, which is number two. If I hit the number two, it will change all of them to two. So now this is the assignment, how to pick profile and based on what I developed. And here you go, I hit OK. You can create uh, uh, another one by just right clicking on it on duplicating. You can of course change the name. Let's create one for lighting. And still we go with fractional uh, for the hourly program. Um, for lighting, Let's say uh, zero to, you can, you can keep it the same or you can change it the way you want. So for lighting, we can say from zero to 6 a.m. There are some lights on, not a lot, but let's call it 15%. Uh, from 7 a.m. where kind of everyone comes to the office, all the way to, um, let's say, 7 p.m., 19, 
we have most of the lights on, or really all of the lights on, let's say, uh, for an office building environment from 20 to end of the night, there are uh, probably 50% uh, still on. During the weekdays, uh, assignment-wise, I'm going to ask it to refer to this profile number one but during the weekdays, number one. So we're okay on this. Uh, let's pick profile number two as well. So what happened over the weekend? Uh, there are more lights perhaps on. I, I know there are less people coming, but typically uh, if there are still one or two people, lights should be on most of the time. So let's say 70%, that might be, uh, so from zero to 23, that might be too much, but hey, for this example. Assignment it was, I gave you okay, so hit okay now. I can also go ahead and add thermostat. So let's create a new one this time instead of duplicating. On this case, I'm gonna go with the fan thermostat for a schedule type, and let's call it thermostat as well. So for hourly. So I can basically pick a profile and I can say uh, from zero to really for, for the purpose of uh, air conditioning, I can say from zero to 23 for all day it's occupied. Um, yeah, I have the option of unoccupied, occupied. So let's go with that for now. Assignment was let's give it all to give it one for weekdays. Even if I don't change it, let's create another. Uh, sorry, let's skip it one again and go back to hourly. Pick another profile. Uh, and and say from zero to twenty-three, it's mostly unoccupied. Uh, for for profile number two, let's call it weekends. And uh, yeah, and assignment wise, let's give the this number two. Okay, so that would be enough for my lighting for now. Now let's move on to the walls. Um, double click on the walls, and here we see some wall assembly name. Uh, you can give it a name, a default wall assembly name. Uh, let's call it external wall assembly. Let's give it number one. You can pick the surface color on the outside, absorptivity uh, coefficient here. And you can see you have layer, and each layer comes with a thickness, density specific. Uh, heat, R value, and overall weight. You can right click on any layers and insert or remove a layer. So you can insert a layer, add any layer you want with certain properties, or remove airspace. And at the bottom, you will see a total R value and overall uh, heat transfer coefficient U value here. So let's go ahead and accept the default layer I have here, but feel free to play with those and kind of adjust those based on your particular wall. Let's go down the list. This is my roof. 
uh, same thing. Again, you have the option of insert, remove. You can pick a color. Uh, let's change it to light, to light color. You can adjust absorptivity and so forth. I'm going to accept what we have here. Uh, let's add some windows here. Double click on the window. Uh, one thing uh, I learned to do is that put the size of the window on the name. So later when you pick it up, it's easy. So let's say this is a five by three uh, double pane window. Uh, so height is five. This is three, uh, and we have an overall U and some shade coefficient. So let's accept this. Let's go to the doors, double click the door. Same thing with front door, give it some name. Four by eight, let's say, front door. Uh, or if your front door and back door, if you have it, they're the same. So let's call it four by eight door in general. And the area then is 32. I adjust the U value the way you want. And is there a glass and shade? You can add it here. Otherwise, I'm going to stay with this. Hit the save. Make sure we don't lose any uh, part here. Let's go to electric rate. So I'm going to skip those equipment for now. Let's go to the electric rate. Uh, double click. You have the option to go simple or complex. In simple, all you do is you give it some number, flat price per kilowatt hour is the blended cost, and some basic tax rate and minimum charge. In complex, you can you have the option to add energy, demand, and add some demand clauses as well uh, as you go. But let's move on for this uh, study. Let's give it a simple rate. Let's say I'm paying. 12 cent per kilowatt hour. And, uh, and let's go with the seven and a half percent tax rate for my kind of commercial or residential building. Again, you can adjust all of those later. Uh, and it doesn't let me go to other tabs because I picked simple electric rate. Okay, so this is not bad. This is my rate per kilowatt hour. Uh, you can you can activate the emission, and you can quantify uh, based on your zip code and region how much uh, equivalent CO two, uh, how many pounds you generate per kilowatt hour. And kind of track those later. Hit OK. Let's add some fuel rate here. Double click, double click. A second time to get into a therm. Um, usually we pay um, $9 per million BTU, which is $0.9 per therm. For really manufacturing facilities, it's a little bit more expensive for residential. So let's call it, if I pay $12 per million BTU, I pay $1.2 per therm. And each therm is 100,000 uh, BTU, as you can see here. And let's apply the same tax rate, 7.5% on this. Again, I can go to complex and add more details to this natural gas kind of uh, fuel rate. So I hit OK. Now let's move into space, spaces. So double click. 
over here, you can give it a name. So the from space, uh, so test the space, let's call it. Uh, now let's consider we have a, Five thousand square foot area, so let's call it uh, hundred by fifty and fifteen feet height. So my floor area would be five thousand square feet. Every ceiling, let's change it to fifteen. Uh, you can adjust the building weight pound per square feet by going heavy or light based on based on your building. And there's a uh, adjuster right beside it that can help you adjust as you go from light to heavy. Uh, outdoor air ventilation, you can pick for a certain application. And basically it brings some uh, number from the code for you. Um, or for example, if I pick retail sales, it will bring seven and a half cubic feet per minute of flow per person, which later we define a number of per people, or in uh, also another requirement. So move on to internal. Here you can pick if you have an overhead lighting or not. Uh, and if yes, you can pick a fixture, for example, free hanging, and uh, how much power per square foot you generate, how much watt, power watt, or the total watt. Uh, so you can pick a number here, adjust it based on the information of the building. Let's see, point one. Uh, you can also give it the schedule you want. So out of the schedule we created, you can create just so we have one for lighting, luckily. Uh, for task, uh, there should be some lighting as well. So, again, same as previous, you have the option to pick a watt or uh, or watt per square foot. So, let's say uh, Pick a watt wattage as well as you tie to a schedule. For electrical equipment, if you have certain electrical equipment in the building, uh, this could be computers, this could be any electric electrical equipment. Let's tie this to occupant. And in terms of people, so if this is a mostly office work or different type, uh, you can pick it here and give it some number. Let's call it we have 75 people working in that space. And I'm going to give the occupant schedule to this. And if there are additional loads, sensible or latent, you can add them here. For now, this is good. You can always adjust those, of course. Let's go to walls here. I need to know how many walls, windows, and doors I have in each direction. So let's just start with the direction of the north. Let's assume on the north side I have my um, 100 feet dimension there. So 100 feet times 15 feet height of the building gives me 1500 for area, uh, let's say I have six windows on the north and I have one door. So for door, I pick my door, for wall, I have it, window, I have it, uh, also my only window is selected, okay? Uh, how about south? Opposite directions, the same dimension, 1500. Let's say I have four windows and one back door as well. Uh, for east, uh, my area would be 50 
times 15 feet high, so 750. Uh, let's assume I have two windows. Uh, let's call it three. Three windows on the side and no door. Same thing on the west. What's that? This was. Same area. 750. Um, number of buildings you have to kind of count those ahead of time. Uh, no door in this case. And uh, I make sure my doors are selected. Here, my doors are selected. Here, my doors are selected. Here, everything looking good. So as you click, you'll see that information on the right-hand side changes and you wanna make sure everything is good. Let's pick roof or skylight here. Uh, for the roof, I'm assuming I have a horizontal, H4 horizontal roof, uh, 50 times 100 is 5,000 square foot. Uh, square feet, you're okay on this. Uh, no skylight for now. Infiltration, uh, that's basically leaked air into the building, either through the cracks, windows, uh, winds. Uh, so you have, you can do air change. Uh, that's the volume of the space replaced per specific amount of time. Let's pick a point two for air change that gives this much CFM for this particular condition. Uh, on infiltration, I will always pick all hours rather than only when fan off. So, uh, so this way it's more realistic analysis of a typical building that we do. Let's go to the floors. You pick your uh, floor that works for you. I'm gonna pick a slab floor on grade. Uh, over here, I have total area, uh, U-value for exposed perimeter. Uh, let's put the perimeter of the building, which is I uh, have uh, 300 feet, because I have 100 on one side, 50 on the other side. So 150, multiply this by two for the other part. Uh, to make it complete 300. Is it insulated? Let's call it no. Um, partition, I'm gonna skip this part for this example, but you can add partition one, partition two, with certain area you want. Hit okay, hit save, make sure your file is saved. And at this point, we are done with the spaces. Let's go to the systems. Let's double click the systems uh, and give it a name, air system name. So, uh, test system one, let's call it. Uh, what kind of equipment you have? Let's pick a rooftop unit for this particular case, but let, you can try multiple things. Uh, it's the constant air volume, single zone, except this. Over system components, you have the options to pick a different thing. So just click on each, gives you the option for them. For example, on ventilation air, I have a constant airflow control. And it's on a single zone. Uh, and you can adjust the damper, you know, economizer, if I'm gonna pick it, I just, check beside it, but uh, that's, that's a good study to see the impact of economizer on energy saving later. I'm gonna skip this for now. Uh, let's look at the central heating. Right now it's uh, doing electric resistance for heating. So I'm gonna change it to a natural gas. Uh, you can try different things, heat pump, uh, uh, steam or other things. So let's pick a natural gas. You can pick what month you want this on or off in uh, some certain temperature. So apply fan. Uh, uh, let's let's give it some uh, 
the total static, I'm going to give it one inch of water gauge as uh, a static uh, pressure to, so it, it, it'll help me with some uh, fan power calculation. We can identify your fan type and further details. Uh, dark system, you can talk about some heat gain and loss. Um, by the system, let's call it 3%. Uh, I don't have leakage, let's say, or maybe 1%. Um, that's it on system component. Let's go to the zone tab. I'm going to add my space, test the space to my zone, my single zone. For thermostat, you can adjust the uh, set point. Uh, for cooling and heating when it's occupied and when it's not occupied. So that's a good study for setback, a study we basically in other videos I'll try to talk about it more. Uh, so you have some options here. Uh, I'm going to pick my thermostat schedule. Uh, let's look at the supply terminals here. I'm going to skip that and sizing and data and equipment and then in more advanced videos I'll talk about those later for now I'm going to hit OK. Uh, so basically I added my systems right now. So last step is right clicking on your system and clicking print view design result. This is how you run your model. So simply there's no run model bottom here. Uh, to run your model, you right click on your system and then you hit print view design results. And later we talk about simulation results. Uh, you pick what kind of tables and graphs you would like to see as a start. You would like to probably review all of those but for now, I'm going to stay with this. Hit preview. Model is running. And here is our results. And this is the results. You can get information and basically do a comparison study when compared with some modified cases, for example. Let's go over the results quickly. This is my floor area, particular location I had. And uh, for the Cooling uh, coil size, I have some tonnage and some specs. Uh, same thing for heating. And you scroll down, you have further information on zone sizing summary. Um, this is a, a great table that kind of explain what are the loads for cooling and heating from each uh, uh, component for example from windows walls roofs people infiltration and other things and those are the things that you can kind of use in your report or your analysis and every time you modify it you can go back here and see the updated results here some information on side chart that you're going to really like those uh, this is end of this uh, basic training on HAP modeling, and I'll provide more details in other videos.